Present perfect and present perfect continuous. We can use the present perfect to talk about at least three kinds of actions. First, we can use the present perfect to talk about actions that happened in the past without specifying exactly when they happened. For example, She has woven many beautiful carpets. We have learned a very important skill. These actions happened in the past, but the sentences don't tell us exactly when. We can also use the present perfect to talk about actions that began in the past but continue in the present time. For example, David has worked as a tailor since 2001. Nora and her sister have knitted every day for more than five years. David continues to work as a tailor in the present time. And Nora and her sister continue to knit every day. Lastly, we can use the present perfect to talk about actions that happened in the past more than once. For example, I have visited several flea markets lately. Ahmed has traveled home three times since January. These are repeated actions that happened in the past. To form the present perfect, use has or have with a past participle verb. The past participle is usually formed by adding ed to the base form of a verb. For example, create becomes created, learn becomes learned. So the present perfect would be he has created or they have learned. But some verbs have an irregular past participle form. For example, weave becomes woven, buy becomes bought, and begin becomes begun. Now we turn to the present perfect continuous. We can use the present perfect continuous to talk about actions that began in the past but have not yet finished. For example, Alex has been writing a novel for three years. They have been waiting here all day. Notice that Alex still hasn't completed his novel. In the second sentence, they are still waiting. To form the present perfect continuous, use has or have plus been and a present participle verb. The present participle is always formed by adding ing to the base form of a verb. For example, learn becomes learning, weave becomes weaving, and buy becomes buying. There are no verbs that have an irregular present participle form.